Introducing Junior, Silvia Lagalbo performing Elizabeth's monologue from Pride and Prejudice. Hi, I'm Sylvia Legalbo, and I will be performing Elizabeth's monologue from Pride and Prejudice, the play. And the context of this monologue is Elizabeth has just been proposed to by Mr. Darcy. <clears throat> In such cases as this, it is, I believe, the established mode to express a sense of obligation for the sentiments avowed, however unequally that may be returned. It is natural that obligation should be felt. And if I could feel gratitude, I would now thank you. But I cannot. I have never desired your good opinion. And you have certainly bestowed it most unwillingly. Feelings which you tell me have long prevented the acknowledgement of your regard can have little difficulty in overcoming it after explanation. I might inquire why. With so evident a desire of offending me and insulting me, you chose to tell me that you liked me against your will, against your judgment, and even against your duty as your sister's protector? And if I was uncivil, I have other provocations. Do you think I could have ever considered marrying the man who has ruined, perhaps forever, the happiness of my beloved sister? You arrogantly and unjustly maneuvered Mr. Bingley away from Jane. Can you deny it? Your manner of declaration merely spares me the concern I might have felt in refusing you. You could have not made the offer of your hand in any possible way that would have tempted me to accept it. From the beginning, sir, your manners impressed me as arrogant, conceited, and selfish. You are the last man in the world I could ever be prevailed upon to marry. Thank you. This one brings a tear to my eye. Introducing Junior Grace Provan performing Astonishing from Little Women. Who's he? Who's he with Mary me? With this ring and his Mary me? The nerve, the gall. This was not, not what was meant to be. How could he ruin it all with those two words? I thought I knew him, thought that he knew me. When did it change? What did I miss? A kiss when I thought all along that we were meant to forge frontiers. How could I be so wrong? And I need, how oh, I need my sisters here. If I can't share my dreams, what were they for? I thought our promise meant that we would never change and never part. I thought together we'd amaze the world. How can I live my dreams or even start when everything has come apart? I thought home was all I'd ever want, my attic all I'd ever need. Now nothing feels the way it was before, and I don't know how to proceed. I only know I meant for something more. I've got to know if I can be astonishing there's a life that i am meant to lead a life like nothing i have known i can feel it and it's far from here i've got to find it on my own even now I feel it teed upon my skin, a life of passion.
passion that pulls me from within a life that I am aching to begin there must be somewhere I can be astonishing astonishing and unknown. I'll find my life in my own way today. Here I go and there's no turning back. My great adventure has begun. time and place, I will be fearless, surrendering modesty and grace. I will not disappear without a trace. I'll shout and start a riot. Be anything but quiet. Christopher Columbus, I'll be astonishing. I've heard it said that people come into our lives for a reason, bringing something we must learn, and we are led to those who help us most to grow if we let them, and we help them in return. Well, I don't know if I believe that's true, but I know I'm who I am today because I knew you. Like a comet pulled from orbit as it passes a sun, like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the wood. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? Because I knew you. I have been changed for good. It will maybe that we will never meet again in this lifetime. So let me say before we part, so much of me is made of what I learned from you. You'll be with me like a handprint on my heart. And now whatever way our story is I know you have rewritten mine by being my friend. Like a ship blown from its mooring by the wind of the sea. Like a sea dropped by a sky bird in a distant world. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? Because I knew you. Because I knew you. 
I have been changed for good And just to clear the air I ask forgiveness For the things I've done you blame me for But then I guess we know there's blame to share And none of it seems to matter anymore Like a sea drop by a spring in the wood Who can say if I've been changed for the better? I do believe I have been changed for the better Because I knew you Because I knew you because I knew you I have been changed for good And now, introducing Theater Focus Classes 2020 through 2023, performing Puck's monologue from A Midsummer Night's Dream. Now the hungry lion roars and the wolf behiles the moon. Whilst the heavy plowman snores, all with weary tasks foredone. Now the wasted brands do glow, whilst the screech owl screeching loud. Puts the wretch that lies in woe. Now it is the time of night, that the graves all gaping wide. Everyone lets forth his spite, in the churchway paths the guide. And we fairies that do run, by the triple hecate's team, from the presence of the sun. Following darkness like a dream, now our frolic, not a mouse shall disturb this hallowed house. I am sent with broom before, to sweep the dust behind the door. That you have but slumbered here, while these visions did appear. And this weak and idle theme, no more yielding but a dream. Gentles, do not reprehend. If you pardon, we will mend, and as I am an honest puck. If we have an earned luck, now to scape the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long. Else the puck a liar call, so good night unto you all. Take my hand if we be friends. And Robin shall restore amends. 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 Robin shall restore amends. And 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 Robin shall restore all mens. And the Robin shall restore amends. Before we end this theater focus showcase, I'd like to give out a thank you and a couple congratulations. Firstly, thank you to Ms. Abby Keene for allowing me to participate in this event. It was an honor to step back into this role, and it's brought back a flood of great memories from my time at Camp Perform, as well as collaborating on this with you way back in 2015. So thank you very much. I'd also like to congratulate all who participated. Congrats, guys, you did it. <laughs> this event is for you guys to show off your hard work and for you to express yourselves. So. And, and it warms, warms my heart to see that this tradition is still continuing five years after I've left Camp Perform. So congratulations. Um, and I'd also like to congratulate our seniors who will be graduating this year. Um, and I think I can speak for Ms. Keene, uh, your fellow students, and the faculty of Camp Perform when I say, you know, we wish you all the best in your future endeavors, whether that's in the theater or outside of the theater. It's a treasure that you're able to keep the theater within your lives through Camp Perform, let me tell you that. Um, and thank you, dear viewer, for watching this, watching the hard work these students put on. Um, I'm sure it warms their hearts to know that their audience is still there for them and that they're able to communicate even through uh, the internet. Um, once again, I'm Titus Musi, Camp Perform 2015, signing off from the Theater Focus Showcase 2020. Thank you very much.